Boys, come and get your food. Boys, come on. Come on. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hello. Come on. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Love Street. Hello and welcome to Louisa TV. Thank you so much for joining me. I will call this a France update number three. Um, I just wanted to update you on the dragon the dragon line, the ley line, the largest of the earth energy lines. And if you have no idea on earth what I'm talking about, I will leave a link below to the first episode, my encounter with the dragon in the show notes below. It's incredible synchronicities and how the universe guides you to certain things and guides you to places. I've been residing for quite a while now in a small country town in the Bordeaux region of France and have been traveling along the Dragon Line, the map Dragon Line to sacred points, uh, medieval cities. And while this has been an incredible experience and I love history, I just haven't felt the dragon. I haven't felt called to it. And it's funny near the home that we were staying Edward and I went for a walk very close to the house and this place is absolutely magical. There's so much powerful energy there. It's so peaceful and I'm so happy there. Anyway, we went for a walk along this dirt road. It's a beautiful tree-lined canopy, this small road and it's just beautiful and sticking out of the ground are there were all these incredible minerals and quartz and crystals that just naturally come out of the earth and Edward looked at me and he said what if we don't actually need to go searching for the dragon what if the dragon has been underneath us the whole time and just as he said those words the exact second the exact moment he said those words my foot I looked down and my foot was over a metal object and he picked it up and held it up on an angle. It's, it was an old rusty wrench. Gosh knows how long it's been there. It could have been there from the war, but he held it on an angle and it's one of those old fashioned wrenches. And it was exactly like the head of a dragon. I couldn't believe it. And gosh, if the universe is trying to show me a sign, they certainly have. I take, I always say sometimes I'm a slow learner and I take a while to process things. I had another small encounter with the dragon. I was lying on the bed the other day and my mind drifted, my consciousness drifted. It felt like in some way while I was awake, my eyes were closed. I was being pulled into a twilight zone and I thought I'm just going to go with this. And I was being pulled, it was unmistakable. And I fractaled into three parts. I was Louisa lying on the bed. I went to another realm or another dimension. I was Louisa watching myself in the other dimension, but I was also a participant. I was in the other dimension. So I was in three parts and it's a long story and the whole scene is quite long, but at the end of it, the dragon popped his giant head out of their cave and I refer to him as a male. He comes to me as a masculine energy and communicates from the heart structure telepathically. And what I remember more than anything about this dragon is he had the most beautiful grin on his face, the most giant smile and Again, he welcomed me home. He had a cheeky grin on his face, but I seemed to know him so well. And we almost wept. We were so joyful to see each other. And he only said one sentence to me. And he said, you've found me. 
And with that, he almost gave a giggle or a laugh. And I telepathically understood is not, not only had I found him, but it was almost like a question. Did you really find me or did I guide you to me? Or had you never lost me, in fact? but we had always found each other. We had always been with each other. So many questions and it makes me question, perhaps there is only the infinite now when everything is happening at a point in space and time, everything that has happened or will happen has already occurred. And it's just a matter of us aligning with the vibration of it. Having said that, I'm not in that geographical location anymore. I'm now completely on the other side of France near Provence and it's absolutely beautiful here. I do miss the Bordeaux region, but I, this morning I had a message and it was very, very, very clear that the dragon would fully reveal himself to me when I'm back in that small country town in the Bordeaux region. There's something so special about it. And I've traveled across many lands, but this is a very, very special place. Having said that, I am going to Germany next week to the dragon, my first encounter with the dragon that I mapped the geographical location three years ago. I'm very excited about this. This is another adventure and the question is, will I encounter the dragon? Perhaps I will, perhaps I won't, but no doubt I'll find more about me. I'll found, I will find pieces of me, greater pieces of Louisa. It was revealed also very clearly to me this week that the key has always been inside me and perhaps I didn't necessarily need to go to different geographical locations because it's always within me. Our consciousness creates our reality. It's a bit like uh, Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz, how she found out how to get home when the fairy said to her, my dear, it has always been inside of you. It's always been inside of you. We are the captain of our ship, the navigator of our story. We do hold the key. We are the hero of our story. This is the hero's quest to realize that everything, everything is found with our, inside us and we don't necessarily need to search externally for it. All the joy and the happiness and the moments and the memories are created with inside us in the non-physical realms. This is the masterpiece of creation. We create first in the non-physical and then we watch as it evolves in the physical realms. My hopes for you today is that you're able to live your own masterpiece and realize you are divine. You are joy and hope and wonder and my hope for you is that you allow yourself to live a full lived life. Don't focus on negativity, focus on the positive things in your life and find more gratitude and love and particularly love for yourself. My hope is that you are able to follow your passions and follow your happiness and follow your bliss and live life without regrets and overcome fears and each day remind yourself I am truly truly blessed I am grateful for all that I have I live a life of joy and happiness and I strive to live a full lived passionate life and I am safe and I am complete Thank you so much for listening to me today. If you like this episode, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment or a question below and I will answer it. And uh, I'm sorry about, I had a technical issue last week. I couldn't upload the Need of Experience episode. I spoke about it. It's a great episode, a First Nation people from the Bronx in New York, who talks about his near-death experience. That will be available this weekend. So I encourage you to watch that. Sending you so much love and bye for now.